While there is a dangerous side to Apple's iCloud technology, it's a lesson learned after compromising photos and videos of celebrities, including Jennifer Lawrence and Kate Upton, were released on an image-sharing site. ABC 40's Brittany Decker shares how you can keep your iCloud information safe. Karen Bianchi's daughter has an iPhone, and she feels uneasy about the iCloud technology. I trust her. I know she's pretty careful. She's, I haven't had a problem to be uncomfortable yet, but I am uncomfortable with it, just knowing all this information is out there. If iCloud is set up on your phone, it'll automatically back up your contacts, texts, pictures, and everything to it. The term goes beyond Apple products to include storing information remotely on Dropbox or Google Drive. It's great to retrieve information, but may not be so good if you have private information in the network. Let's say you sent a picture to someone. Let's say it was kind of a salacious photo of some type that you sent to someone that you're having an intimate relationship with, and you deleted the photo off your phone. But they didn't delete it off their phone. Now their phone is stolen or their cloud is compromised in some fashion. Somebody has this photograph that you may not even remember that you ever took. So how do you prevent this from happening? iPhone users should know that you don't need to use the cloud to back up your phone. On the phone, you can turn off your iCloud settings and back up your phone using other programs, like iTunes. Stan from GoGeeks warns that nothing is 100% secure. Let's say you've got a good password, and let's say they're using appropriate encryption on their end, like Apple is, to protect it. It doesn't mean that it can't be penetrated. If using a backup system like iCloud, he recommends to use a strong password and maybe not store something that you wouldn't want to share. For ABC 40, I'm Brittany Decker. That is the bottom line. It's recommended to choose a password that is long and random.